welcome everyone to Ladybug Stampin' and welcome to anybody that joins us later in a replay. We're going to be playing with some texture today. I'm so excited. I haven't played with this stuff in a long time. And I was trying to think, I know you guys are probably getting like, maybe you need something besides a Christmas card. <laughs> so I thought, well, then let's just make a card. So I'm not sure what we're going to use on here, what sentiment, but we'll use one of these sentiments. Aren't those pretty? I love the font in those. So let me just start my YouTube over here. Let's see. Hi, Marjean. How are you today? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> That's <a> Denise the Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, how are you guys doing tonight? How are you guys doing? Y'all doing okay? Are you ready to play? I know I was on just last night, but that's because I wasn't on Tuesday on uh, Facebook because Parker lost his phone in the river, and I had to go to Verizon to get him a new one. So, I mean, I had to be there. He paid for it. Um, hello, Jeannie. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was coming on tonight, too. Steve was like, you have one tonight? And I said, I know, but I, last night it's because I didn't get to go on Tuesday. So, it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I got bell practice. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. It's okay. <laughs> I know. It's, it's Thursday. Well, at least you get to join me sometimes on Sunday and on Tuesday. Huh. All right. So, I'm sitting here playing with Trinity's so, this, this little phone ball. Look, it's already been sitting out here for a week. Hi, Sandy. And you can just, it's still, I just have it sitting right there. All right, so we have these masks on here, and they're just called basic patterns. And I'll show you the patterns that they are. We've got this one. We'll be working with this one for sure tonight. I know we're going to be using that one. Then they have this one, which is really pretty, like this. It's what they do. Thank you. Did they think you were giving me the finger? Oh, you were giving me the finger. <laughs> oh, geez, that's what it looks like. Then we had some dots, and then we've got some trees on this one. That is funny. Hi, Carol from Connecticut. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm looking for my knives, <laughs> my palette knife. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to color some cardstock because I want this, it's, this paste is white, you know, and so I want it to go on top of here, okay? So I've got a piece of cardstock already cut out. Um, I do have this cut by four and a quarter by five and a half. Hi, Tanya. Um, because I know I'll trim it down. And here are some of the colors we have. They may not be, um, I don't know. We're going to see if they work. Ellen used Mary Merlot last night. And look at my poor little stamp pads. Um, and I said, you know what? I haven't used that color in enough, you know? Oh, Carol, thank you so much. That's sweet. Thank you. Uh, it does, doesn't it? But I know, yeah, she didn't mean to do that. <laughs> or maybe, she, did she? No, she didn't. Um, but she, I haven't used this color, so I thought we'll use this. Um, and then I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss. Watch. Look at these colors, you guys. Blackberry Bliss, Mary Below, Crushed Curry, and I'm going to put my Granny Apple Green kind of right there. What a color combo that is. <laughs> what? So this is what we're going to be using tonight. So I oh, I think I just messed up all my brushes. Okay, that's got to be Mary Merlot. I'm just testing them over here. Um, that's probably Crushed Curry. I'll say that's Blackberry Bliss. This one should be Granny Apple Green. Yeah. Okay. I messed them up when I moved them over there. Okay. So, I've got these. I uh, know. Denise, stop saying S-O. Don't say so. I don't think I've ever used that the Mary Merlot. And I think I've only used it a couple times. It's a thumb. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, I've only used it a couple times. And so, it's not. I haven't used it enough. So, 
Um, and then these brushes right here, are, I'm just going to use these ones because they help me blend a little bit better. And um, these are from Dollar Tree. And you guys, you can still find them at Dollar Tree because I just found several more yesterday and I picked them up. I want one for each color. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, just keep looking, Miss uh, Miss Carol. Yeah, I got it wrong. My thumbs are too big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, city, that's funny. Every time I used a red, my hands look like I murdered someone. I know, right, Sandy? I mean, I'm always getting ink on my um, fingers. But I did think, um, yes, but you can use other blending brushes. I mean, there's Tim Holtz. We've got the sponges, which I like. I like them all for different reasons. Um, but I am liking these, and I'm trying to get one for every color because I can wash them. I mean, I probably use this this one brush probably on a couple colors because I don't keep them separated right now. But if you can't find them, just keep looking because they are getting them in. And if I find any more, maybe I'll let y'all know. Actually, it's just uh oh where are I don't know if they've got a name. It's not on the handle, so it's just like. What is their brand they have there? I can't think of it because I don't buy it. But I'll look, Carol, and see. I haven't taken them out of the container yet, but um, they're in my car. Are they, are, are they in? No, they're in the bedroom, I think. And Cindy got some from Amazon. So you can find some pretty inexpensive ones. Because remember, I paid a dollar a piece for these. So you may be able to find some on Amazon, even that's probably a little bit cheaper. Oh, uh, thanks, Jeannie. So you did find some at Dollar Tree. Well, that's good. That's good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to, um, we're going to take a little bit of all this, these colors and, uh, and put it on our cardstock right here. Carol, let me know if you find them, okay? I want to know if you find them. And I'm just going to take my brush, and I always go down here in the corner. And I've already messed this sheet up, so we're just going to use this one. And I'm just going to start off the paper. And kind of just rub it a little bit. And then I'm going to go over here. See how that just blends so well? And I may even make that a little bit darker. This is that pretty Mary Melo. The Amazon ones, the Amazon ones I got are a little nicer than the Dollar Tree ones. Then they have colored handles. Oh, hey, Jenny. Okay. I know, but they were there. I picked them. I, <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit down here in this corner. And I'm going to put a little bit more in this corner. Just to darken that up a little bit. I'm going to leave that a little bit light. Okay, I'm going to set this over here in case I need it again. Let's go with the Crush Curry next. How are you doing, Miss Jen? I'm going to take in that corner. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at that color. So we're just going to blend a little bit there. And I'm going to... Oh, my table. I've got my table going around. And I'm just going to bring it up there a little bit. And maybe a little bit in this corner right here. Let's see. The brushes are a little denser. The Dollar Tree ones are great for those techniques. Yeah, they are. Yes, there is a difference, of course. Yes, definitely. There's going to be a difference for sure. Okay, so we're going to put this one over here to this side. Sometimes you just got to look at your supplies and what's in your... Look at that. Is that that one has a... That one must be very juicy. Um, yeah, because it's on my fingers, too. Sometimes you just got to look in your um, supplies and kind of see what you need, what see what you can use. I have literally have not used um, these masking things. I've probably only used them once. So, yeah, just look in there and see what you got because you never know. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here. I'm not very good. Ink pad, ink pad. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Uh-oh, what's on there? Those things. What is that? I don't think I can cover that. That's these little things on my pad. I need to call Stampin' Up and get that taken care of. Look. Well, let's see if we can hide that. Maybe we won't use it. Oh, I put that too close to that one. Okay. I'm going to get out my green. And I'm going to see if I can Put a little color right here. Okay. And then I'll get out the yellow, the crushed curry. That was granny apple green, by the way. And fill that in. Okay. We'll see if we can cover that up. I don't know what happened there. Denise, I have been meaning to tell you. Thank you. Thank you also for all the nice things you do for us. Thank you for the bingo tutorials encouragement. You are a blessing. Thank you, Jeannie. I love you, girly. Okay, so we're going to put these over here. We might come back and use them in a minute. Oh, my gosh, I have not used it. This is actually a fresh one. That's how long I haven't used this stuff. And, of course, I don't have a towel to wipe off my, whatchamacallit, my paste. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? These are hard to get off when you let it dry. Okay, but I'm going to do it for the sake of, I don't like that right there. We're going to trim this down though. I'm going to try to cover that up as much as I can. So I'm going to lay this right about there and see if I can cover a lot of that, a lot of that up. All right, so I'm going to get that. Let me get also, where is my sheet? Let me get this. Okay. And I'm going to get this to here. And line that back up where I can get that, most of that line there. And get out some old, um, what do you call this? Painter's tape, frog tape. Okay. And I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, Cindy, how I have you fooled. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's good, though. Hey, I ain't going to say. I'm just going to keep it right there. Oh, man, that didn't that did not uh, lay down flat. Okay, I want that to be kind of tight. Okay. this right here okay I guess it's gonna bubble up a little bit all right let's see if this is gonna work we're gonna make a card regardless I don't know what's gonna happen but we're making a card regardless okay and I am gonna try to turn you guys just a little bit and see if that straightens you up it does okay it does a little bit all right, so let's get our embossing paste. And I'm just going to get out one of my knives. I've thrown some others. Wait, I need to go. I need to order some more because I have let them dry. Okay, so you're just going to take a good glop, a glop, you know, a glop, and we're just going to put it on there. And I'm just going to go like that. Okay. And then just kind of go over there. I'm trying to stay on the paper at least. You know. On my cardstock that I've colored. And I am scraping it a little bit because, I don't know, because I just am. I don't want it too thick, you know. We'll come back. I'm going to make sure. I just want to make sure everybody's got a little bit, bit of it. And then I'll come back and make it a little bit thicker. Okay. All right. 
And then I'm just going to take that back because look how I colored it. it. Sometimes it'll dull the color a little bit. I love coloring this stuff with anchor or even with your ink pad. Maybe we'll do that next. I just felt like playing tonight, really. You know, just a little bit of play. Sometimes it's nice just to play. Okay, so let me kind of go this way a little bit. I really don't want those lines, so I'm trying to, you know, take those lines out. Why do I not have no lines? Look at that. All right, let's see what it happens. Let's see what it did. I'm going to close this up so it doesn't dry out. Okay. And let's see. And I can't believe I'm not. I don't have my. Don't do this unless you've got like, you know, a wet towel, something wet to put that in. Because trust me when I say it will stick. I can get it off, but it takes a lot. Okay. Let me see if I can even wipe it off a little bit look how pretty that is isn't that pretty okay i'm just going to take this and kind of put it right here for a second and i'm going to see if i can get a little bit of this off at least take a, a good chunk of it off again you want a wet towel to kind of set this in and clean it okay I can't believe I did that. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get it. All right, now I'm going to be very careful with this. And move this down here. And I am going to get out my heat tool and dry it. Because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I ain't got the patience to let it dry overnight. And I'm just going to turn it on low, not high. That's what I like about this heat tool. You can go low and then you can go high with it, you know. So how are you guys doing tonight? Everybody having a good Thursday night? Are you guys ready for the weekend? Um, Who's all in the hurricane zone? We may get a little rain from it, but that's it. But um, any of you guys, I know Nyaka is down there. I, she, bless her heart, they've had so many already. Just relaxing, chillaxing. That's good. It's nice to relax every once in a while. I do that at night, but then I don't go to sleep till 2 o'clock. Then I have to be up at 6.30, 7.30, depends on the day. So, yes, taking tomorrow off and Monday is a holiday. What holiday is it on Monday? We're in the COVID lane. Oh, no, Susan. Oh, grandson's birthday party. Yay. Those are always fun. Yeah, I really wanted that green to be kind of bright. Let's see. I'm going to try to back, dry the back of it a little bit. Oh, Columbus Day. Oh, Jen, you get off for the Columbus Day? We get off for a good Friday, but we don't get off for that. Hi, Vicky. Oh, hey, hi, Cheryl. How are you? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm in the COVID lane, too. <laughs> we had over a thousand cases today in Arkansas. Isn't that crazy, y'all? Cheryl, thank you for that. So, are you enjoying them? I don't want to do too many. I, well, my intention was to do all Christmas. Um, I used some ink, and I used the brushes, and I just put, you know, kind of went around a little bit at a time, and um, like that. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying them, but um, I have been just trying to think... Wow. Where are you at, Susan? What state? I was thinking it was just Arkansas doing all that. 
Really? Golly, that's a lot. Okay, let's turn that off because that's after a while it kind of. Okay, I'll say it's fairly dry. And it even picked up, it's not completely white because it picked up some of the ink from here. So you'll see it's got a little bit of a pinkish tint to it. And I, it's probably from the Blackberry or the Mary Merlot. Oh my gosh, Marjean, really? Oh my goodness. Susan, you're in um, Utah, that's right? I think you are. You are too, right? I think. Yes, Utah. Okay, yes. I just seen that. Yeah, Utah too. Okay. All of a sudden, I just thought Utah. All right, so we're going to take this and I'm going to trim this. And we're actually going to trim it. Um... Hmm. Hi, Mary. I think I'm going to trim it down to five. So I'm going to go down this way because of that. So I'm going to trim it down to five, which is a half an inch shorter. I don't want to mess up too bad here. Wow, that's a lot. And a half an inch, that would be three quarters this way. So maybe we can get some of that out. But don't throw this away. You can always use it for something else later, okay? I know. Praying for it to go away. The only good thing about this COVID mess right now, let me say, is me working from home. <laughs> but I've gained weight because of that. So y'all be praying for me to lose weight. Um, it's, been a, it's been a struggle right now. Normally, I th I, th I feel like I can do really good at home because, you know, I don't eat a lot when I'm at home, like all day, but then I start eating at night, so. It's like, uh, I'm fighting the bulge. Battle of the bulge, that is. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to use Mary Merlot for our backing and maybe, hmm, do I want to use white to back it with? Yeah, we could do that. Actually, we could just do, I know. So what I did was I took my four colors. I used Mary Merlot, Blackberry Bliss, Crushed Curry, and apple, Granny Apple Green. And I did make it darker, I mean, just by the brushes. It does look really bright on the screen, I will tell you that. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not that, it's not that bright. So I'm thinking, looking at this, we may just do it on a Whisper White cardstock and not do anything else. What is on this right here? It's like a little metal or something. So let me get out. Let me get out. Let me see if we have any white in here. Because I'm going to put this up over here so we can do another one. Let's see. Yep, we do. Okay, I do. All right. So I'm, what I'm thinking is I'm going to take this and just put it on here. Okay. It would pop on the black. Oh, well, I could put it on the black and show you. Let me see. Is this, uh, oh, this is, let me score this real quick. Um, five and a half. Five and a half. Cindy, bye, Cindy. See you Sunday. <laughs> I didn't see her. I didn't see that. Okay. Where's my... There it is. Okay. Okay, so there is the white. Okay. Um, I was going to use black for my sentiment. That's why. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. So which one do you like? Do you like it on the black? Or do you like it on the white? I like it on both. Actually. And I think what I'm going to do on the black, everybody's saying the black. I'm going to edge just a little bit. I'm just going to use this brush. Kind of get some of that 
Okay, both. Susan like me both. I like them both. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. We'll 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 just keep it on the black. Okay. So since we're gonna do it on the black, then my sentiment we will do on white because I'm gonna put it like right here and we'll emboss with black embossing powder. So textures. It's another texture, right? So we have. Um, uh, don't we have black? No, we don't have black anymore, do we? Oh, dang it. Hmm. Ooh, that clear is not all the way shut. Oh, man. I guess we'll do it on Whisper White. I mean, white on a piece of black. Let me see. I really did not want to do it on black, but we'll see. Where's that stamp set at? So what can we use? I love this. You're my person. If you've watched Grey's Anatomy, you know what that is. Trust me, you're lovely. Oh, let's do that one. Trust me, you're lovely. Um, Trust me, right here. This one right here. Let's do that one. Well, I thought about, uh, hi, Donna. Hi, Lily, uh, little guy's mom, 69. Okay, I will try that. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs> okay, all right. So... You think it'll show up? We can try it. We'll try it. I've never done that. Not on, um, not on, uh, just the black, you know. I like it when y'all help me. See? I would have never thought to do that. I was thinking about taking it in Versamark and, like, stays on, stamping it, and then, you know, but, like I did the other day. Okay. We can always trim this afterwards. All right, where's my clear? And I'm going to get out this just to kind of stamp on. Okay, where is my stamp? My Versa mark. I'm making sure it's really good and juicy. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, you meant on, uh, you meant on, okay, I know what you mean. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know, okay, I do know what you're talking about. That's what I was thinking originally. Okay, so it's the same thing I was thinking. Okay, okay, we're going to use this, though. Let's keep that right there. That's my clear. Let's do this in white. And we'll compare. I'll see which one I like. Just making sure. Okay. Now, let's get out. I'm just going to trim that down so I can hold it. And then let's get for white piece and over. Ooh. Should I do it in stays on or the memento? Uh oh. Get out. Or was what happened? It was my iPad. Okay, it was my iPad, y'all. It was my me. I've had been having internet troubles all day, and I was. By the way, <laughs> hello and welcome. <laughs> no, you are perfectly, perfectly fine, Mom69. You are perfectly uh, fine. Memento, okay. I was thinking, because stays on, I'm, I'm always, I don't like using that unless I just have to. You know what I mean? No, you are perfectly fine. That's how you're going to get my attention. Yep. Okay, so. 
are going to stamp in Versamark. And you do this with your other colors too. So if you want, if you wanted Mary Merlot, you could do this the same way. Just stamp in your Versamark first and then stamp in your uh, ink, your black. Stamp down. And then get your clear embossing powder like this. Okay. Just like that. It, okay. I couldn't remember which black it was, but yes, just exactly like that. Some think you're yelling if all caps. Yeah, some, some do. Um, but I mean, I use them too because I'm trying to get somebody's attention when I'm watching them on YouTube or something. Cause look at me trying to put this on here. Golly. <laughs> okay. My goodness. Just, I'm getting stuff all over my hands. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to heat both these up. What? Okay. So let me just hold it there. It'll catch. See if you guys can see it. Oh, that's burning my fingers. Did it catch? Oh, yeah, it caught. I find it fascinating how this does. My cord is stuck over here. That's why I'm having, I'm struggling. And I'll tell you something else you can do. Hi, Delinda. Keep this heated, okay? Keep this heated up and go right back in there. And then heat it again. Okay. And go right back in there. What you're doing basically is building that up. And since it's clear, I mean, you can't get your brush out. Let's not blow that. Let's not blow that, okay? We don't want that. We don't want this all over the place. That would not be a good day for me. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking white myself, but we're going to see what y'all think. I know, my tweezers, and they were here, but we used them the other day. Oh, wait, did she put them back? Oh, she did put them back. <laughs> They're right there, too. Oh, the tools of the trade we still, I, that I still don't use. All right, so I'm going to trim this. I hate when that powder gets all over this. Makes it feel like I'm in sand or something. You know, hikes. Delindo. All right, I'm going to trim this down. Let's see. We're going to trim it. I'm going to trim it like this. Do I? I <laughs> can't pick it up. <laughs> Have not had much success so far with that technique. With that where you dip it a couple times. Oh, man. I need to get some of those. Okay, here is the white, okay, and then let me trim this one, and I'm going to trim this here just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit, not much, and I'm going to go down here, and I guess I'm going to make this two and a quarter, I guess is what it is, so about two and a quarter by an inch, let's see if that's what that is. Two and a quarter by an inch. Okay. Yeah, it. I learned that long time ago, and I don't always do it, but it does build it up, especially on this black. When you do it like that, when you use a color like that, it really does help to kind of, I don't know why, but it kind of makes it look, you know, a little bit more thicker. Same way you could do, see how I want to show you, see if I can show you. Can you guys see... 
I'm trying to watch my camera. Um, let me put it right here. This one is a little bit thicker. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, and this one is definitely a really, like it's only one layer, so it's really soft. But if you rub your finger over this, I mean, it is truly raised. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Dang. Oh, right there you could. Right there you could. Let me move it a little bit. Yes. Yes, Cheryl. Yes, it might. Look at that. So, but not good with fine, detailed images, sentiments. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that great tip, Mom69. Okay, so let me go back. White um, PC with a black layer. So, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. Oh, wait. You're talking about the sentiment. <laughs> I was thinking, let's see, white, um, the black layer. Okay. What size is that? What size is that whisper white one? We're going to trim this down to two and a quarter too. I was going to leave that, but I'm not going to now. Okay. Yes. I, I finally picked up on that. <laughs> It was like, wait, no, she's talking about the sentiment. Yes, it took me a second, but I got it. it took me, yeah, it did take me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, okay, let me clean this up real quick. I'm gonna clean this one up. No, I'm gonna put it right there. Because I'm gonna show you something in a minute. I use all my scraps, y'all. There we go. Okay, so this was one and an inch, one inch, one and an inch, one inch by two and a quarter. So I'm going to make this um, two and three eighths. Okay. I know, I have been in there, peace. PC is peace. <laughs> um, and then by one inch, an inch and an eighth. I hope that gives me enough of a border that I want. If not, I can do it again. We'll see. Let me see if that gives me enough of a... Yes, it does. Okay. I know. And you know what? I actually think I have some. Do I have some over there? I have a bunch of stuff over there. And I use it for different things. Not just card making. Okay. I thought it was politically correct. Oh. <laughs> I don't like how this is really dark down there. I'm not going to lie. That just... It looks too poopy. Looks like poo poo. Okay. So maybe we'll try to hide it. Like we could put it right here, like this. Like that. Sorry, Jeannie was typing fast to get her attention. <laughs> it's okay. PC, peace, 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 peace. Okay. I like that. You guys like that? Oh, I like that. Do you like it way down there? Because I tell you what I can do. I can trim this again. And cover with sentiment. Yeah. Because I can trim this down even more. I mean, it's not that. Um, my thought exactly put that sentiment on it. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Oh. Mom 69, I love it. Is that the year you were born was 69? Oh my gosh. The reason why I ask is because that's the year I was born. I was born in October of 1969. After they landed on the moon. What else happened that year? Oh, Manson. I don't want to think about that one though. Um, What else happened that year? Some other good things happened that year. Um, Okay. Make sure that poo poo is down there. Sixty nine. All right. Wow. We're we're uh fifty years old together. Awesome. Jeannie says I'm blonde to the roots. 
Cheryl, your son was born in 69? Oh, that's awesome. Um, October 30th. October 30th. Yep. I celebrate all month on my Facebook page. <laughs> yeah, I celebrate all month. So, I think I read Sandy. You said you had never seen that where you dip that in there a couple times. August. Oh, look at that. Okay. And, yeah. I'm an old poop. <laughs> no, you're not. What were you, like 10 when you had him? <laughs> no, you're not. All right, I am going to put a good amount of adhesive on here because I want it to stick. Thank you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm going to be 51 this year. Oh, my gosh. When's your birthday? 23. Well, Miss Cheryl, let me tell you something. A lot of 70-year-olds um, would not get on YouTube and talk like this. So you are the bomb, girl. I'm just making sure it's even on each this side and this side. Uh, I don't want my their eye to draw down there, but it is what it is. I mean, that's kind of pretty. It's I mean, you've got you're really focusing on this right here. You want them to focus on this up here, you know. And I probably could have used different colors. I just wanted to do something out. Retirees have more time and money to craft. Oh, okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on down, Cheryl. All right, yeah. I can't wait. Ten more years, I'm going to try to retire at 60. And then I can do this every day. I can get on here every day. I actually probably will, too, to be honest with you. Because I'll be able to get on in the morning before anybody goes home. I mean, you know, goes to, you know. Once everybody leaves from the house, you know. My son has been calling me older than dirt for forever. So long that now my four-year-old grandson tells me it's... A, it as well <laughs> right thank goodness they're cute time but no but but not money always uh yeah that's true well i'm thinking what i was thinking about doing let me turn this over what i was thinking about doing was kind of working oh look there's another sheet that's from a long time ago um of doing that okay let me clean this stamp off real quick while i'm talking to y'all let me see if we can do another one. Let's see if we can do another. I don't know if my my poor little things are going to be messed up. Okay. I think what we're going to do this time, though, for texture, is I'm going to... I'm going to just... I'm Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I had this idea... Um, I want to, uh, what I want to do is work for a, um, like a school cafeteria or something, something like that, where maybe I can have off the summers and stuff. Ooh, sorry guys, I'm tired, but we are going to, oh, look at this poor little hat came off. I want to use this set. I love, this is like my favorite, favorite stamp set. I mean, not favorite, but I love this stamp set. I used it a lot last year. Are you going to close that door, darling? Um, I used it a lot last year. Yeah, I won't be the lunch lady. <laughs> well, my retirement, hopefully, is going to be good. So, I'm hoping that, you know, by the time I, I'm done, that I'll be ready. To, no, I won't have to do that is what I'm hoping. But, Sandy, don't we got some good retirement? We got some excellent retirement. Sandy, I work with Sandy. Okay. So I'm going to get out these little snowmen. Oh, awesome. She said I learned something new today. I always like to hear that. We're going to do a Ruth technique kind of like a one sheet wonder in a way. Um, but just a little bit simpler. So let me get this stuff um, down. Okay, I don't know what that was. I want the snowman too. I want to volunteer at the animal shelter. Oh, I cannot do that, Mary. That would break my heart. 
work in healthcare. I'll be working till three days after I die. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, especially right now, right? Oh, my goodness. Cindy was in healthcare too, wasn't she, guys? I'm going to... I'm just trying to get which stamps I want. Okay. Until your body gives out, right? Yeah. We did have somebody... Um, I didn't work with him, but it was there. he was there before I got there. I'm Sandy may remember him. But um, uh, I think he worked in IT, and he retired. He was mowing the yard like, like a week or, or a day later or something like that. He um, died of a heart attack. So he'd only been retired for like a day or two or something like that. Nursing is... It is beyond work, Cheryl. You got, nursing is like, oh, it's like teaching in a way to me. It takes a special person. Yeah. Okay, Sandy, so you don't, okay, so you do know who I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, because of that little trick we did a minute ago, um, <laughs> we'll have to watch the rest of, oh, get you sleep, we have to be up at four. I, I understand, Donna, have a restful sleep, sleep very well. I'll be praying for you for a safe road trip, okay? Let us know how you're doing on the road. Yeah, Gary, yes. Okay, I was going to, yeah. Especially if you're nursing your husband. Ah, that's double work right there, Cheryl. Because, you know, nursing, hun I mean, husbands already, that's, you know, that's a task in itself. So, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that trick again, but just with black okay i want to try something here i've been want i've been thinking about this all day and i want to see i mean i've literally had this sucker sitting right next to me all day um while i was working today and just kept thinking and i'm like oh my gosh i really want to try that okay so i'm just going to make sure it is between covid and getting hit by a dr driver <coughs> total vehicle i went from 105 oh my goodness Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Bless your heart. Yeah. Um, huh. Yeah, I've gained some weight, too. Big time. But I'm doing keto, which really works for me. Um, I've noticed that because of the breads and stuff like and starches and potatoes and peas and corn and stuff like that. does not sit well with my stomach. So, all right. So, we're going to get out the clear embossing powder right here. We're going to get out the Versamark. Now, this is going to take us a little time. Not long because I got all these stamps, okay? But here's what we're going to do. I want that off of there. I do not want any markings off of it on this because I will be so sad. All right, so we're going to take our Versamark and put the blocks over here so I kind of know what I'm doing here. We're going to take our Versamark, okay? Ink it up. We're going to, I'm just going to kind of start laying them down like this, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And then I'm just going to, okay? Like that. And. I'm going to get some snow. I might have to wipe this one off. Okay. Because I don't want I can't stick it back in there, of course, right? So let me just get out my cleaner. I hope this turns out. I hope this really does turn out. It'd be it it just would make my day if this turns out. All right. So do I want to put him on there too? Yeah. I'll put the hat on top of him. Okay. Like that. 2020 is drunk and needs to go to an AA meeting. <laughs> That's good. I've tried my inner fatty loves pasta. I know. Me too. But I have a book on keto pasta. It's, it is made with a lot of different stuff. But um, I don't. Uh, but I do do. I use almond flour a lot. 
Okay. Let's see, is he still kind of okay? We're gonna see, make sure he's wet. I'm gonna get this out because I'm afraid. This is clear, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put it on here, look like this. I just wanna make sure it is sticky. Well, thanks everyone. Have to catch the rest on replay. Have to go clock in. Bye. Yes, nice chatting with you. Make sure you come back on with us, maybe Sunday. <laughs> Oh, I love it when new people come on and talk, don't you guys? Okay, so it's still going okay. All right. Uh-oh. Black. All right, so now I want to get the Let It Snow. This might work with just one image a piece. And then we'll just fill in with the snow. We'll put that right there. Clean it off, get some Versamark, get Memento, go like that, clean it off. Doesn't take much, you know, just gotta keep on doing that. Awesome, I love it. Okay, more. We're just gonna fill the rest in with snow. Okay. I want to see how this card turns out. I have kind of a... Oh, I touched that. Whoops. Whoops. It's going too fast. Okay. And I do have this cut kind of... Oh, you guys can't even see me. I'm out, so out of frame, it's not even funny. <laughs> Why don't y'all say something? Like, Denise, we can't even see you. Okay. I hope I did just put that in Versa Mark. I'm going to be upset if I didn't. Okay. So let's take our little container here. We're going to try to put it back on there. Now, I would say, Sandy, doing one this big is a little bit more difficult can be done, but it is more difficult, okay? Um, okay. We'll see if we can try it. Maybe in little spots at a time, okay? Let me move this all away. I needed a new grid paper anyways. This one's like the last. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Here we go. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. I mean, uh, Mary. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Let me heat him up on the back. That's normally what I do when I heat emboss. Okay. All right. I just love black and white, y'all. So pretty. Oh, dang. Okay. So this is how we're going to do this very carefully and see if I do not mess up. Where's my spoon? I can't turn this off. Okay. Ready? You got to be really quick with this. Okay. 
I don't even know if it picked up. No, it didn't. Okay, hold on. Let me do the bottom half first. Oh, it did right there a little bit. You gotta... Okay. Oh! I literally almost... <laughs> put that down in there. Can do it, but it is diff. I'm not gonna lie to you. It takes patience. I mean, it's hard to do it on screen right here. Okay, I want that little. I want this little right here. Uh uh. I'm gonna come back to that. Hold on. I'm going to turn this off because I've got too much on my cardstock, okay? I know, right? <laughs> That's why I, this is kind of messy, but it's fun. The technique, I mean, I love doing this after, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I like the way it looks, so. Oh, i got to get a brush. Because it's got too much on the cardstock right now. Okay. it was that apparently was a little bit wet might have been too big of an image to do it with too okay same up here okay. let's see if I can get my Tool to turn back on. Sometimes when it overheats, it won't come on. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this card, and I'm not even done with it yet. I love this snowman. I love black and white. I'm just in love. Okay. Okay. It did work a little bit. It did. But I'm going to tell you right here, like right in here, I mean, you can't really see it. Well, right there you can maybe. But some of it got stuck in between there. Oh, be careful because it's still kind of tacky. Um, but it's okay. It's not all over the card like in this piece. So, But that is a little bit more raised. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in that. How did I have it turned to you all ago? But, Yeah. So let me close this up. Oh, I gotta remove this. Oh my gosh, I gotta remove that. That's got stuff all over it. <laughs> Whoo, that's got stuff all over it. I just put it on my floor and then it'll be okay. Okay. But you could use in one in front of one of the house stamps. One in front of the house. Wait. At least messy enough to not ruin, no, to ruin your clothes. That's when I make a mess when stuff ruins my clothes. I usually are new clothes. Oh, I don't like doing that. I want to watercolor that in purple and blue. That would be pretty. I'd like to see that. But wait, what did Jenny say? Bet, bet you could use one in front of one of those house stamps. One of these? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because you can fussy cut that, right? All right, we're going to trim this down. I don't want to trim this side because it'll let it snow. So I'm just going to trim this down to four. Yep, I'm going to cut some of this guy off right there. Didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. And we're going to cut this down to four, five and a quarter. Ah, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Now, oh my gosh. Whoops. Whoops. Hold on a minute. I gotta clean these stamps real quick. It might or might not got everywhere. When it did blow a little bit over here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go get my bleach. Oh yeah, my table's all messy. I'm gonna have to go get oh it's all right there. Okay, I'm gonna use actually that's black and white, but my card base is going to be I'm just going to use one of these out of here and see which one I like the best. 
Okay. Let's just try it. You could put it on this, I think, is this Pacific Point? Yeah. You could put it on green. Okay, yes, I want, yeah, I think red too. You could put it on the pink. I like that too, not gonna lie, because I love black and white and pink. So that looks really pretty too, and it's not a traditional color. Actually, I'm gonna save that one. Okay. I go, I got a lot of garden green here. Mary, red. <laughs> she wants to make sure I see that comment. That's funny. Bless her heart. Okay, that's, this is so saffron, I think. Okay. Ooh, melon mambo. Look at that. That is bright. Wow. No yellow snow. Now this is Poppy Parade actually, it's not red, but it is Poppy Parade. So that's not real, that's not red, that's not real red, that's Poppy Parade. So let's see. Ooh, even I, I think in any color it's going to look good because it is, I don't think I have any red in here. Ooh. Yeah, I like the Melon Mambo too, Sandy, don't you? Oh, look, here. Pool par is this Pool Party? I want to say this is Pool Party. Look at that. I even like it. With so any color it's going to go with, I really like the pink. But I'm going to get the red out. Hold on. I'm going to get me a piece of cardstock. Okay, let me find that. I didn't need two. I just need one. More stuff for me to clean up later. <laughs> She said, that's close enough. Okay, four and a quarter. Bye. Sorry, I'm just over here cleaning my stamps while I'm... I did have another card to show you guys tonight, but I ended up going with this. Because, um, I, like I said, that's literally, I've been th thinking about this all day. Wanting to do that. So... But I had to have some other texture since I named it texture and color. Okay. Put this up. Put all these up. Poppy Parade works. That's what I used on my cards from Card Making Day. Ooh, pretty. Okay, this is real red. And just look. Oh, my baby's here. The doorbell just rang. What do y'all think? I'm going to do that. I, and you know what? You don't even have to do anything with a sentiment because you've got let it snow on here. You could add some ribbon if you want, but that's up to you. I'm not going to. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. You could even edge it if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm literally just going to put it on here. I really like these, y'all. Woohoo! Awesome! <laughs> I love that card. Look at that. I really like that. I don't know. I just, I love this snowman stamp set, and I haven't used it, and I've used it quite a bit. I used it and made one of those houses over from Dollar Tree last year. But I really like the black and white. I just like that it's simple. It's got a little color. You know, it doesn't even have to be a Christmas card, y'all. This can be just a little winter card. You can send somebody and say, mm, hope you're enjoying your snow because we don't have any. Okay. All right. So here are the two cards we made. I'm thinking of rethinking this color. These colors right here may be too much for me. Maybe I needed to make it a little bit tinier. I don't know. Or maybe one color. Two colors. I'm not sure yet. But I do like this one. This one turned out kind of okay for me. But I really love this one. So I will make sure to put the sizes, which ain't going to be much, and the supplies on a link after the kids leave. Okay? 
All right. Well, thanks for stopping by tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, as always. I enjoy having you guys. I should post a pic of that Daughtry house I made. Oh, Jen, do it. Oh, do you guys want to see the house real quick? Here. But, Jennifer, you remember I made this last year. Remember? And this is that. I'm pretty sure I did it on a live. Here are mine. And these are those Dollar Tree houses. I did this last year. And I plan on doing something. Look, that was that puff snow I used on there and everything. I plan on doing, I have some more of these and I want to do some more. Um, but I don't know yet. I got, I'm trying to think because I've already used a snowman once. So, and that, I don't know if there's a video. I'm pretty sure there's a video for that somewhere. It might have been with the Christmas thing. So, all right, guys. I did. Okay, that's what I thought, Jennifer. I thought. I think it might have been for the Christmas thing. Stampathon. All right, you guys. Well, I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye, guys.